You are lying. How do I know that? Have you ever watched you, Laurie, in Dr. House? It's the basic truth of the human condition that everybody lies. The only variable is about what. The great thing about telling someone they're dying is that it tends to focus their priorities, find out what matters to them, what they're willing to die for. they're willing to lie for. Trouble is, I think he's right. We go to great lengths just to protect the stories that we tell ourselves about ourselves, our lives or our careers. So in today's video, I will talk about the three lies that I tell myself about my career to make myself feel better, to get to a point where I can say it's the external circumstances that mean that I can't get what I want. And yes, Luck does play a role in the shape of our career, but those little white lies that we tell ourselves, they can be transformed into something that's far more useful. First lie we tell ourselves, we need something to get to somewhere. For example, I need this corporate training to excel at my job. I need this promotion to actually make a difference, or I need that corner office so that I can be happy. All of these are lies. What we are really saying here is that we are not yet paid enough or we are not recognized sufficiently to put in the effort. But without fail, those who do excel at their job, those who make a difference, long started before they were ready. Excel at something and your boss might recognize that this training will get you to the next level. Make a difference where you are today and the promotion will come. And if you are happy in what you do, that corner office, that might be yours. Second lie we tell ourselves, the world owes us something. When you start out in a new career or a new job, you're excited about the prospect of learning and developing and making an impact. And I don't know exactly when that happens, but at some stage, we start to feel entitled. We have put in the work and we have put in the hours and we made an impact. And now that job owes us something, maybe more money, happiness, or at least respect. Here's the harsh truth. No, that job owes you nothing. And this isn't to say there aren't people who are underpaid or not respected in their work. I'm not talking about that. But if you have been paid for the work that you do, if you put in the hours, it's all done and dusted. You have been paid for it. You, on the other hand, you owe yourself something. You owe yourself that you continue to learn and to grow and to develop and to feel fulfilled. And yes, sometimes that can only happen when you change jobs or change careers. But very often, it can also be a mental shift. So when you recognize that it is only you who owes yourself something and then put in that extra effort and you keep learning, then those external rewards that you may be craving, maybe that is the promotion that you're looking for, those will come into your life as well. And the third lie we tell ourselves is that we can't do anything about it. It's too late. I had this conversation lately, which was with well, initially at least a stranger in the park. We met up, we sat on the same bench and I took an immediate liking to him and we hit it off. And so we started to talk about different things. He was a very educated man, a lawyer, and we had great chats about many different aspects of life. He had a huge amount of interest in various subjects. It was just a pleasure to talk to him. And then we started to talk about our careers and what he said next shocked me. This confident man with a high paying, very well respected white collar job sat there, looked me straight into the eye and said, I hate it. I hate every minute of it, but I have five years to go. There is nothing I can do, so I'll sit it out and then I will retire. And I was sitting there and thinking, if a man like that can have this thought, it might cross anybody's mind. But 
It made me sad at the same time. Think about it. Do you really want to sit there in two years time and think back and say, well, all I could do is just sit it out and wait for my retirement and want to waste two years of your life? Really? I get it. There is family and finances and a hundred reasons, maybe a better retirement package that you're waiting for and that makes it worthwhile to stick it out. But seriously, it is a lie. Nothing, nothing is worth wasting even a year, even two years of your life. And when we look into our environment today, retirement is less and less of an option. We rather look for something that fulfills us and want to put some work into that far into our old age. Please recognize your career is over before you know it. It's not too late. Now is exactly the right time to make that change that you are longing for. And if you feel inspired by videos like this, also check out the one that's on the screen right now. I will see you next time. Take care.